Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you how to get 100,000 Stardust in one day. Or 1 million Stardust in one day. This isn't no hack method, this is all efficient in Pokemon Go logic. So, this is I'm going to be breaking down the different tasks that you could be doing to be getting yourself a lot of Stardust, okay? I'm going to be talking about raids, I'm going to be talking about weather boost, I'm going to be talking about wildly, and I'm all going to do it in this video, so do not forget to subscribe and enjoy the following. Alright, consider the following. You want to get 100 Stardust. So to get 100 Stardust, which isn't really that hard, all it takes is to catch one Pokemon, okay? I don't know if you can see that, nope. Okay, one Pokemon with no weather boost, one Pokemon. So I'm just gonna put the sun thing without with the X there to show no weather boost. Okay? Now, what if you want to get a thousand Stardust? So you have two options here. You want a thousand Stardust, you need to catch ten Pokemon. Or you could do one raid. I apologize for my handwriting. So one raid gives you a thousand stardust, a guaranteed chance of a thousand stardust, okay? If you want to get ten thousand stardust, so simply ten thousand, you have more options here. You can catch about a hundred Pokemon, or you can do uh, ten raids, okay? So... So I'm not going to be counting star pieces in this video. Star pieces give you 50% more stars, okay? So, uh, for a raid, um, if let's say you want to get about a thousand in a raid, right? With a star piece on, which I'm just going to do is this little star symbol, you will get, instead of, uh, 1,000, you'll get one, um, 1,050. So... Star pieces give you 50% more Stardust. They're very efficient. Uh, but I don't have a lot. Of, well, I have about 40 of them. But that's not about a lot of them. But I do not really use the Star Piece a lot. I'm saving it for like one of them days where I go out raiding. Because you can get about uh, 1,050 Stardust. Or if they do one of them Stardust Blasts like they did black, uh, last summer where they did about 3,000. That gives you a lot of Stardust too. That's the only time I use Stardust pieces when... The star pieces when uh, they do those big events. So, but let's consider the next following. Let's move the paper up a little bit. Let's say you want to get about a hundred thousand stardust, which most people are going for. Most people really want that. Raid pass are not that easy to get. You get one free one a day, or you can spend money. So, uh, they're about a dollar, or if you have Pokecoins, if you defend Pokemon Gyms for more than two days, but it cannot be in the same gym, because they get kicked out after a day. Every day you defend your Pokemon in a gym, you get 50 Pokecoins, but then it reaches a daily limit where your Pokemon gets kicked out of the gym. You cannot get more more than 50 Pokecoins a day, they, even if you have about four Pokemon in a gym, and they all get kicked out at the same time. You will not get more than 50 Pokecoins a day, so just remember that, so... Let's say you want to get 100,000, you got to catch 1,000 Pokemon. Or, again, you can do 100 raids, which with a free raid pass and you spending money, that'll cost you about $99. So maybe you cannot get about 100,000 in a day from raids, but it is possible to catch 1,000 Pokemon. If you're non-stop, you can catch 1,000 Pokemon in a day. So, let's consider the next following. You get a million Stardust, right? Again, 10,000 from Pokemon catches, or you could do 1,000 raids, which is not possible in one day. Sorry, I screwed up on the A there. That is not possible in one day. Let's just shift the paper over a little bit so you can see. That you cannot do. But... What if some players, because most players are about at, let's say around, really good players are about 7 uh, million Stardust. Only one player has been over a billion. So, let's say you want to get about 10 million Stardust, which 90% of players do not have. You'll need to catch 100,000 Pokemon, or you could do 10,000 raids. 
which isn't really that bad. Uh, the raids is pretty bad. That's about $10,000, which I'm not willing to spend on a game just for Stardust. But this right here, this is your key, catching Pokemon. You can catch about 100,000 Pokemon in one week. So you can make about 10 million Stardust in one week, which is not bad, actually, because 10 million Stardust is a lot of Stardust. Most people I see about have, you know, regularly around uh, 2 billion, 3 billion, 4, not billion, sorry, uh, 2 million, 3 uh, million, or 4 million. So this, these are really good keys to help you in the game. And with Weather Boost, boosts it up. So, I'm not really sure what the Weather Boosts are at. Uh, I believe they're about... Uh, I'm not too sure. But Weather Boost gives you, like, one time I caught a Pokemon from Weather Boost. And it gave me 700 Stardust for one. Which isn't bad. It's actually pretty good. That's, a, that's almost a steal right there. Another good thing is Hatching Eggs. I don't know exactly how much you get from hatching eggs, but I know you do get somewhere in the thousands for a certain amount of eggs. For 10 kilometer eggs, you get somewhere in the thousands, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty good because instead of uh, doing all of this where you need to catch about 100,000 Pokemon, you could just hatch 1,000 10 kilometer eggs, which is a lot, but if you play over the course of the years, and most people have hatched that much in their entire Pokemon Go play. Now, let's flip this sheet of paper over. Now, let's uh, talk about what are the costs for the Stardust grind. Okay? Not Stardust grind, sorry. The trading grind, let's just say. 80,000 Stardust to trade something shiny or legendary unowned, okay? Now, I believe... It's around 16,000 to trade something that is not in your Pokédex, but that is a special trade which you can only do once per day. I do believe that the um, that having the shiny or legendary owned is a lot less. I believe it's somewhere in the thousands. It's not that much, so about a thousand. Not bad. But look at it like this. You have 80,000 per trade, okay? Let's say you make about 10 Billion, not billion, sorry. Let's say you make about 10 million Stardust, okay? That is a lot of trades before you run out of Stardust. You can probably trade over 100 Pokemon with that. If. So that's basically what I wanted to cover today. Uh, this is basically what we've covered in today's video. And I just want to do a little brief lesson at the end of this video to ensure you, you know what to do. Alright, now that we know what to do and how to get Stardust, trainers go out there and get a lot of Stardust. Go outside, uh, the winter season's almost here, so you gotta be careful, uh, you might as well do it while it lasts. My goal is to probably get about 10 million Stardust in this month. That's what I, that's my goal right here, till, uh, November, that's what I really wanna do. Which isn't, it's not gonna be that hard, considering if I catch a bunch of Pokemon. It'll take you a lot of Pokeballs, let's just say that, but, visit the Pokestops a lot, uh, do all this stuff. If you're not in a good area, well, it might be a little hard for you. Uh, I go around, I try and shiny hunt, while you shiny hunt, catch a bunch of Pokemon. So not only that'll get you a lot of Stardust, but it'll also grind you a lot, and a lot of candy. So, that's why for my Magikarps, I have over a thousand candy from just doing that. And then I can evolve them into Gyarados. But I choose not to until I get another shiny Magikarp, which I want to evolve into another shiny Gyarados. Because mine is only 900 CP. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this where I explain about Pokemon Go. I'll get back to you guys next time. Goodbye.